Hi there, I just wanted to let you see how easy it is for you to scan your documents and upload it to Google Classroom. This is much better than taking photographs and trying to send it to your teachers because it tends to like be very poor quality and uh, hard to mark and uh, there's lots of shadow sometimes over the, the pages as well. This is also really good to scan for your own sake as well too to keep uh, really quality images of your work. Right, to do that there, uh, you need to uh, have this uh, app called Notes, okay? So it's available on iPad and on iPhone, so you should be able to use it that way if you have those types of equipment, okay? And it's a second row down here and second from the left, okay? So it's available all free on all iPads and iPhones. So if we go into this here, okay, and we want to start off by making a new folder. So I'm going to make Belfast High, okay? Um, I'll put a sentence. Okay, there we go. I'm going to save that. We're going to go down to that. Um, we're going to go down to that there. Okay. All right. So we can see at the bottom right hand side here. There's a little uh, pencil that is for a new uh, a new note. If we go into that there, it gives us a couple of options, and you can see in the middle here you've got a camera, and that's the one we're going to use. This camera isn't just for taking photographs; it's for scanning documents, and it's really useful. So if we go to scan documents, and I have one down here. Okay. So it automatically recognizes it. And it's taking a photograph, okay? Uh, and we want to then go to the other side. There we go. There we go. And we have two there. All right. So we press save two. So we have the two there that we need. Um, and this means that this, these two are going to get sent as a whole, which is actually quite good rather than lots and lots of different um, documentation as well too. We want to change the, uh, the title of this as well too. So what we want to do is go to the top line. And uh, it's, that's just a lot of mismatch. We want to put Bismarck just for our own notes. Press save. And there we have what we need. Right, so the top right hand side, then you see the little box with the arrow going out of it. This is what we're going to use. So we're going to go to that and we're going to find Google Classroom. You have to have Google Classroom app installed. And most of you do, you have it installed on your phone or your or iPad, okay? So if you go to Classroom, and it's really important here that you go to the right class, okay? Obviously, you have lots of different classes. You want to assign this to the right classroom, okay? So um, we want to try to find the right assignment as well. It's not your 13 that I'm looking for. I want to find test, and you can see at the top here, we've got test class. And we want to attach this to an assignment. So go to assignment, and again, we want to actually attach it to the right one. In this case, uh, we want to attach this to upload a photograph of a work that can be marked, okay? So I'm going to put it there. You can see it's uploading. Okay, so it's uploading to that um, Google Classroom assignment. And once it finishes, that's all sorted. Okay. Um, and then we can go to our Google Classroom. So I'm going to go to the Google Classroom. And I'm going to find the right um, I'm going to find the right classroom, the right assignment again, just to make sure it's right. And it's uploaded. And once I do that, we're, we're ready to go. Okay, so test class, and it was this one here at the bottom. Go into there, just make sure it's there. Okay, to do that there, you go to your work, and it should be there. There it is, Bismarck. Okay, and we're ready to hand in. All we have to do then is press hand in. And it, it's, it should come up with an acknowledgement. There we go, assignment is handed in. You can un unsubmit it if you want it. So I know that's in, your teacher has it, and it's all ready to mark. It's a really good way to store your work, and a really good way for your teachers to mark it as well too, and give you the highest quality feedback. Hopefully this helps. Thanks for listening.